In this video, I'm showing you the easiest, fastest, and safest updated method to install Windows 11 on any unsupported PC. No TPM? No problem. Unsupported CPU? We've got a workaround. Why install Windows 11 on unsupported PCs? Even though Microsoft officially restricts Windows 11 installation to PCs that meet certain requirements, TPM 2.0, Secure Boot, Supported CPUs, Many users still want the updated features, refreshed interface, and security improvements of Windows 11. Especially as support for Windows 10 ends in October 2025, unsupported users may seek a way to transition without buying new hardware. While Microsoft does discourage it, they have not completely blocked installation. In fact, they even provide a method for enterprises to bypass hardware checks via registry edits. However, there's now an easier method that doesn't involve manually editing the registry using Rufus. The simplest way. Rufus with built-in bypass options. Rufus is a free tool for creating bootable USB drives, and its newer versions, 3.18 and up, come with an automated method to remove Windows 11's installation checks. After downloading the official Windows 11 ISO from Microsoft, you can open Rufus and load the ISO file. Once you do, Rufus presents a dialog asking whether you'd like to remove certain requirements, including TPM, secure boot, and minimum RAM or CPU restrictions. By selecting these options, Rufus modifies the installation media so that Windows 11 will install even on unsupported hardware without you needing to change the registry or use command line scripts. Booting and installing Windows 11. After creating the bootable USB, reboot your PC and enter the BIOS or UEFI settings, usually by pressing a key like F2, DL, or ESC when the PC starts. From there, set the USB drive as your primary boot device. When your computer restarts, it will launch the Windows 11 installer. You'll go through the standard setup process. If your system lacks internet during setup, you may be allowed to create a local account. If you're forced into Microsoft account setup, there's a workaround. Press Shift plus F10 to open command prompt, then type ube backslash bypass in a row and press enter. This will cause the PC to restart and let you continue setup with a local account instead of requiring internet. After installation, what to expect? Once Windows 11 is installed, it should run just like on a supported PC, although performance and update support may vary. Microsoft has stated that unsupported PCs running Windows 11 may not receive important updates, including security patches. However, many users have reported continuing to receive updates anyway, at least as of mid-2025. You can also use third-party tools like Windows Update Mini Tool to manually fetch updates if needed. You should install drivers via Windows Update or from the manufacturer's website to ensure hardware compatibility. Keep in mind that features like Windows Subsystem for Android or some gaming optimizations may be unavailable or perform poorly. After installation, what to expect once Windows 11 is installed? It should run just like on a supported PC, although performance and update support may vary. Microsoft has stated that unsupported PCs running Windows 11 may not receive important updates, including security patches. However, many users have reported continuing to receive updates anyway, at least as of mid-2025. You can also use third-party tools like Windows Update Mini Tool to manually fetch updates if needed. You should install drivers via Windows Update or from the manufacturer's website to ensure hardware compatibility. Keep in mind that features like Windows Subsystem for Android or some gaming optimizations may be unavailable or perform poorly. Optional Alternatives and Custom Builds if your PC is extremely underpowered or you want a lightweight build of Windows 11, you can explore Tiny 11, a stripped-down version of Windows 11 created for low-end or unsupported PCs. Tools like MediaCreationTool.bat or NT Lite can also create customized Windows installation media with feature removals and hardware check bypasses. While unofficial, these solutions are widely used and often updated by their communities. However, always download from trusted sources, as modified ISOs can carry risks. Before you begin, check if your PC is unsupported due to no TPM2, unsupported CPU, no secure boot, backup your data. 
Before continuing, back up everything. This process may involve formatting your drive. Method. Rufus plus modified ISO. No registry edits needed. Step 1. Download Windows 11 ISO. Go to the official Microsoft website. Scroll to Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO. Choose Windows 11 Multi-Edition ISO in your language. Click Download. Step 2. Download and launch Rufus. Get Rufus from. Insert a 16 GB plus USB drive and open Rufus. Select your USB drive. Under Boot Selection, click Select and choose the ISO file you downloaded. Step 3. Bypass requirements with Rufus. When you select the Windows 11 ISO, Rufus will show a customization window. Tick the boxes to disable TPM check, disable secure boot check, disable RAM check, if needed. Then click OK and start creating the bootable USB. Step 4. Boot and install. Restart your PC and enter BIO slash UEFI. Usually via F2 delay or escape, change boot order to boot from USB. Save and exit BIOS. Boot from USB and follow the Windows 11 setup. If this video helped you out, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more tech fixes, and drop a comment if you ran into any issues with. Hey, more awesome PC hacks and tutorials are on the way, so don't miss out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.